Hello, I'm Brian Sales. I'm the host of Simply Love, a show about dating, love, and relationships. And I'm very happy to be here today with Michelle Talbert and Ricardo Kingsbury. And they have an online show. They met online. Yes. Really great to have you both here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Thanks, tell us, tell us, tell us a little bit about how you all got started. <laughs> what well, were your first words to uh, me? <laughs> nice smile. Nice, nice smile. smile. Yeah. Had what we like to call a whirlwind, whirlwind love affair, affair that ended in heartbreak. heartbreak. Hers. Um, uh, you, yeah, you broke so, heart. No. no, I didn't do that. I didn't. No, no, do that. No, 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 not at all. Let's be clear. But, uh, yeah, so we didn't work out, but we remained friends. Right. And uh, Michelle came to me with the idea to write a book. Yeah. Telling yeah. people about our experience yeah. online, uh, the experiences we've had and also experiences of people that we interviewed, talked to, co-workers, friends, a lot wow. of people. Yeah, so yeah. we got a lot of interesting stories in that little book right there. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about this later. Uh, Don't Do What We Did, this book here written by both of you. Yeah. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the experiences that you had online in terms of dating and how did you sort of arrive at this concept? Well, I started online dating. <sighs> Yeah, all right. I'm about to though. date myself. AOL chat room. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, You're when, pioneer, when you can like hear that, huh? dial up in the background. <laughs> yeah, so um, people would meet and you could begin to chat with folks mm -hmm. and then you would meet offline. Mm -hmm. And I did do that um, in a local D.C. area and moving forward about eight, ten years, met Ricardo on yeah. an online yeah. dating site. Mm -hmm. And we both realized that we had so much experience together collectively we had Probably almost like 20 years, 20 years yeah. of online dating uh, online experience dating. Wow. yeah more than I do, just <laughs> slightly <laughs> you know, only I'm, I'm, slightly I'm right there with yeah it. okay so, so but, why date online i mean why is that the thing to do well, I can, well, yeah i wouldn't have met him and and, and, and it kind of gives you a, like i wouldn't have met i'm a, I'm a firefighter yeah. oh, really? yeah. I, I, I usually don't hang out with attorneys or mm -hmm. you know I, so it kind of gave me a chance to meet different people that I Absolutely. normally wouldn't meet. Absolutely. And it's also very convenient. It is so very convenient because he is online with his Cheetos and his furry pajamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> furry pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Scrolling through the pictures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got people pictures with furry pajamas. <laughs> and no shirt. Yeah, anyway. Sure. Anyway. No. Um, <laughs> so profile <laughs> pictures is what did it for you. Huh? Wow. Well, um, actually, yeah, um, yeah. In the beginning, well, I, I, I guess a lot of men are visual, so mm. the first thing I saw was her picture. She had on, uh, actually, she was, you had like a marathon a picture again on some like some tights. They were triathlon running yeah, shorts. Yeah, but I saw the tights like, and yes. the smile, and you know, I the saw the tights. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we're not together anymore. We want to be clear about that, right? <laughs> Let's be clear. That's, but but we yeah. are very yeah. good friends. Right? Great, great friends, yeah. Great and, and for us, really, because we had so much experience, mm -hmm in online dating and we speak with so many people every time we say the words online dating someone says i have a story for you right, right, all the time. but it's not the only way we date you know we meet people every day and offline you okay. know so that's really important to say that yeah. online dating should not be your only means yeah, of no, dating it but it's a great way to meet folks because most of us walk the same way to work or take the same routes to the grocery store this is a great way to sort of mm -hmm. open up your world view and meet people who you wouldn't otherwise cross right. paths with right. so what's different about online dating as opposed to the traditional you know you get hooked up or introduced to a, a friend maybe on a blind date or you just meet somebody at the grocery store or the library What's different about online dating? I think one of the things that is that's different is you get to develop something. You develop more with the person mm -hmm. before you actually meet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you get to know that person. You get to know a lot about that person before actually meeting. And, and myself and Michelle always say meet sooner rather, rather than, than later. later. Yes, because, because you don't want to waste all of that time Actually, getting to know yes. someone and then when you meet you find out oh man for whatever not really reason compatible, compatible at all the chemistry isn't so. there and also i always advise women women have a tendency to fall in love with words Right? right. So if he's right. sending us a little electronic rose or something like that, we're like, oh, be still my heart. No, <laughs> meet face to face. Right. Really, what is he about? What kind of person is he? And, and I always say meet sooner right. rather. We met the, almost the, basically the first day yeah. that we started. We talked maybe within that week. Yeah, it was within the first week mm -hmm. of meeting online just and to know if it made about, sense. One thing about online, you have to understand that people can they can pretty much create who they want to be. Sure. Right. 
So there are a lot of, you know, people. But even if you meet someone in the grocery store, they can tell you whatever. Absolutely. So it, it happens in, in both perspectives. So I would say, yeah, the biggest difference is really the ability to create some type of rapport mm -hmm. prior to meeting. And yeah. what would be sort of the key elements of that rapport for you to step from the stage of just talking to someone and then actually sitting down mm -hmm. and having that initial date? Yeah, what, what was that for you? It, How did that work? I can picture with you without a shirt on. Uh, that that's what it was. Uh, yeah, huh? no. So you it women are visual too. Then, women they are. <laughs> they we are. just don't admit it. Just be honest about it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, seriously, I would say that it's, it's the ability to connect with me intellectually. You know, I'm sapiosexual. I'm turned on by words and intelligence. Right, say that word again for a Sapiosexual. Yes. You want me to spell it for you? No, I'm kidding. So <laughs> <laughs> it is. So. <laughs> You're Maybe it'll go across the screen on the bottom. Oh, oh. But no, sapiosexual is, is being turned on by words and intelligence. Mm -hmm. And so if someone is able to communicate very well in writing, that's great they could have a little Cyrano de Bergerac. So you want to meet them and get on the phone with them as well. Right. But I think that is really the beginning to see are there common interests? Mm -hmm. Are they able to articulate themselves well? Um, those are things that you can do that you might not be able to do at 2 a.m. in the club with the music mm -hmm. blaring in your ear. So, so I think that's a benefit. We didn't really communicate too No, much. I think we, we had did maybe back and like, forth and it, it was like nice smile, off. thank you, a couple of days Let's ago. Meet. And then okay. He said, let's meet. And I said, well, but come. But she, she did. She, we had to have a phone conversation. We had she to actually have, had to hear I my voice. I must hear a voice before mm -hmm. I meet anyone. Right. And if you don't are, are not agreeable to that, then we don't need to meet. It's how, you can't talk to me on the phone, but you can meet me. That doesn't make sense. So right. I've never had anyone say no. And right. what about you? You obviously were uh, looking for something else. Uh, what was um, in her profile to sort of attract you to? Well, well you should talk about honestly, what you were looking for. Honestly, yeah, I was, um, well, what was in her profile was, Visual. I was looking at the pictures. Okay. Um, I, she had in her profile you were a writer. Mm -hmm. I was intrigued by that. Okay. Um, but the main thing probably was the picture of the triathlon that he the, still remembers almost three years later. The visual aspect of the whole profile, like it. Well, she put uh, it up there for a reason. And right? she put it. And she knew what she was doing. She knew exactly what she was doing. And and then the smile was nice. And I, I reached out and she, you know, yeah, yeah, corresponded with me. So yeah. then we just figured. And we well, met I in some place public. He let, did. He said, let's meet. Let's do something right. spontaneous. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what, what it was. Yeah, yeah, he was into spontaneity at that yeah, time. At the time. At the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we ended up meeting at, uh, she was working out at her gym. Yeah. Okay. And he and, came um, and met me after. Came, she came out. Again, with different ones, but again, with, with the, the, the the workout Oh, pants, yeah, but yeah. they were tight. And, you know, she yeah. came out, so I was even more interested. And, uh. Went from there. She actually came out and uh, called her sister, mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm. and gave her my tag number. Yep. Oh. Yeah. It's a safety issue, yeah. and it that was I didn't know she did it until later on, but that was a yeah. great I, thing. Oh, you actually okay? Yeah, so yeah, you didn't yeah, have yeah. a problem. No, with that. I had no problem okay. with that. Well, I mean, he didn't know. I shouldn't have, and I, I he didn't. Wouldn't right. Have, yeah. Right. So that was a that's that's a point that we probably need to touch on is the safety aspect Absolutely. of the whole thing. Yeah. So that was something she did that. Yeah. Talk about building profiles. Um, mm -hmm. When you think about the person that you're going to connect with online, I mean, that's your first opportunity to know something about the person that you might be attracted to. What needs to go, you know, if you're talking to our listeners, people who have never, ever even entertained mm -hmm. the thought of online dating. I mean, what should go in a, in, a, in a profile to actually attract that potential mate? The first step is to understand what you are looking for. Right. So that is even before you're thinking of the type of mate you, you want to appeal to, mm -hmm. is to think about who am I looking for and what am I looking for? Right. You know, anecdotally, I was just looking to hang out and he said he was looking for a relationship. So I right. knew coming to the table, we know the rules reverse. But you know, in terms of knowing what you're looking for is the first step. Who do I want to attract? What type of relationship? Do I want someone just for tonight? Or do I want someone for mm -hmm. the long term? Because that will influence even the site that you choose. Because there were over 1,500 online dating sites in North mm -hmm. America at any 15, given time. Mm -hmm. 1,500. And they range wow. from let's bond over having tattoos to let's cuddle um, to let's Christian get married. Sites. Yeah. The sites based on religion and everything mm -hmm. else. 
Then you decide what site is best for my needs. Mm -hmm. And then you think about now, what type of profile do I create to attract the type of person right. who I'm looking for? Right. Are there costs associated with most of these sites? Some, as well? not most. Some, it's, not it's, it's just not a all. balance. Not we met all. on a free site, yeah. Um, but yeah, there are. And you see met people on paid a lot sites of the same well. people on the paid it's sites and they're true. on the free sites. Okay. It's very the true. The same so multiple dating sites. Same, same picture, common. same profile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And another thing with with setting up the profile, then we we get to the pictures, like um, for me, of course, and for a lot of the guys I talk to. We like to see a smiling picture, right? Not the upset and I'm mad at the world picture. We want to see something positive. We would like to see a face shot mm -hmm. and a full body a shot. Full body don't shot. overdo it. We don't need to see the whole photo album mm -hmm. and a current picture. Current you is get, you get a lot of people yeah. who put the pictures from high school, right. or, you know, college, or when you you know worked out and this right. and that. And then <laughs> when and you used to work out. And then when you, when you meet, you get that catfish experience. <laughs> uh, Talk about that catfish experience. What, what does that mean for those of our viewers who are not as familiar with that concept or idea? It means that someone who you've met online mm. is not who they actually hold themselves out to be. So that's and not just physical, that's all. No, it can, can range, and that's okay. what I was going to say. It can range from holding out some facts about the actual person who is in the picture mm -hmm. that are not true to being a totally different person right. than who you think you're corresponding with. Another mm -hmm. reason that we say, if you are looking for a relationship, if you're looking for something more than a pen pal, you need to meet sooner rather than later. Right, right. Don't, don't, yeah. please don't waste your time. The other thing that I always tell women, especially, is do not overload your profile mm -hmm. with what you're looking for, because then you're giving someone a roadmap to your heart. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you want to tell them, oh, if on Tuesday you call me and say good morning and on Wednesday you send yellow roses, then I'll how do you right? How <laughs> do you find out who this person truly right. is or whether or not they are just trying to impress you? And they may not even have nefarious intent, right. but it's just that you don't know who they really are because you've told them how to be. You're making it so easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Do you find that women are more romantic for a particular type of women? I mean, we know the statistics in terms of dealing with women of color and so forth trying to find that man and oh. you know the biological <laughs> time okay, clock that's is another ticking. show so, do not I mean, get me wound up on yeah, that honestly when we think about it are women who are in that situation sort of setting themselves up which situation in a situation that they, they have their biological, set, their biological time oh clock where you're feeling that sense of desperation right man and maybe they're the ones who sort of describing their profile you know they're setting themselves up for failure actually mm. because they're going to look at it like we did a radio show and this lady called in and yes. she put everything into uh, one experience mm -hmm. online and it ruined it because it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Not every, you know, so you can't just go into it like my biological clock is ticking, I need to find that mm -hmm. man and this is it and put it on because the internet is not going to do it for you. It right. can't be your last ditch effort. Right. It's right. what exactly we say is that, you know, it's one of the ways in which we meet people. Mm -hmm. It's not the only way. And there are many people, especially as you say, women who they feel that that, that biological tug mm -hmm. that they say, okay, well, I'm, I've met everybody through every other means. Mm -hmm. Now let me do online mm -hmm. dating. And you are coming to it with a sense of desperation, a sense of frustration. Yeah. And if it does not work out the way you'd like it to work out and quickly, then you're putting out even more sure, sure, um, bad sure. vibes. So I think you draw to you what you put out. And if you put out a sense of desperation, it's really going to be a disastrous experience for you. Well, but what about men, Ricardo? I mean, what are some experiences, both good and bad, uh, that men have had from your uh, experience? Um, I can tell you a, a, a bad experience. Uh, my cousin, he actually was online. He's, he's the one who actually turned me on the online dating. Mm -hmm. He was uh, actually set up and really? robbed. Oh my goodness! Yeah, uh, wow. Going going to meet someone, young lady at her house. He's driving his car. Um, someone jumps in the car with him and actually shoots at him. Wow. Yeah. So um, it can be it can be dangerous, but meeting anyone, it can be you just have to do your homework. And so, he yeah. should have never went. Went he to the house. Right. So that's, right. That's, that's on the first exactly. date, that's that's you need to meet somewhere public. You have to. So, yeah. yeah. So public, uh, being in a public setting obviously is obviously one of the places that you would recommend. Are there, if you went through maybe the top five sort of safety issues before we sort of move to closing out at the end of the segment here, mm -hmm. can you share top with those? Top five. Top, 
or seven or ten. Well, we'll, yeah. we'll do a collective top five. I mean, definitely yeah. speaking on the phone first. Speaking, okay, on, speaking, speaking on, on the phone, phone first. first, and we said meeting in a, in a public place. That's mm -hmm. that's very important. Right. You don't want to invite someone to your house the first the first meeting. Nor go sure. to someone's house. Right. I would say also that um, it's <laughs> it's really important that you either have a safety backup. Um, someone who knows where you are, knows who you're going to meet. I take pictures of driver's licenses if I'm getting in the car. And if the person has any problem, mm -hmm. then, right. you know, we need to move forward and split ways. Find out as and much as you can. No, go ahead. You, no, go ahead. That's find right. out as much as you can about that person. The Internet is a very helpful tool. Mm -hmm. You get the name, you can Google the name. Sure. You can find out a lot about that person. You get the tag numbers, you can find out a lot about that person. Ricardo's an actor, so I actually IMDb'd him when we met. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to get information about Tell folks what the IMDb is. I don't even remember what it stands, but it's like something movie database. Movie database. And really yeah, yeah. You can look folks sure. up who are related to So bottom line is search online to see search. if you find information. Check them out, why not? Sure. There's nothing weird about that. Yeah. If, right. if you want to no know reason. who you're dealing with. That's correct. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, as we sort of wrap up this particular segment of the show, We'll be back with Simply Love right after this. We're back with Simply Love. I'm Brian Sales. And I'm here with Michelle and Ricardo. Let's talk a little bit about your radio show. Talk to me about the concept, the idea, and mm. what are some of your hopes and aspirations for your um, show? I know Michelle can give you the concept because she's always coming up with these <laughs> concepts. She just goes along for the ride and then yeah, yeah, kicks it up. into gear. I show no, up. He does more than show up. The <laughs> show is called They Met Online. Mm. And we met online and the show talks about we talk about love and dating and sex and relationships we had a show on pornography mm -hmm. and what that can do to a relationship mm -hmm. both positively uh, and negatively okay. um okay. there are some yeah it's very interesting mm -hmm. um we, we speak with guests. Yeah, we, we speak with we talked about the marriage bed being undefiled right. on our last show oh, wow. um, and what that really means so we really try to bring a twist because we're right. very honest and open about our own experiences right. and how that's impacted sort of our relationships with ourselves each other right. and other people and we're part there are four of us where we have our super producer bell and mm -hmm. martin, martin pratt martin i love pratt. black women yeah. and we get folks on the phone and and it's a really great opportunity to sort of take some of what we've learned in relationships and bring it to the airwaves and you also know? Uh, we're learning too absolutely also, I, I like actually you said that pornography show i learned a lot yes yes from that show. yes so we're also open to learning right. as well as helping people right, out. Right. And we're, we're not in no way perfect. At all. But Some of us are less perfect than others. Really. <laughs> but um, we can help people learn right. from our mistakes. Right. Exactly. And, and, and commiserate. And so when people come to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. you know, they, they two o'clock in the morning, I was right. up, you know, talking to a woman on Facebook who's totally given up on love. Really? And I've been there. Right. I've been like, I'm right. so over this. I'm mm, done, right. you know? So I could completely, I felt her heart at 2 a.m. He happened to be mm. at the firehouse, so he right. saw it in real right. time. Yeah. And we got on the phone and was like, this is why we're doing this. Yeah. Because there are hurting yeah. people all over this world sure. because mm -hmm. of coming out of relationships and not right. being able to fully heal. Right. So the healing part is really important. Huge big, 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 big part. Share and talk with us a little bit about the, the healing, because it's sounds like you have a show that folks can learn from but there's mm -hmm. a healing aspect to it. someone calling you I mean being on Facebook at 2 a.m. you right. have a, it's almost like a girlfriend's uh, a shoulder to cry on or something like, you and know, people and they, do they we, they can always they can always reach out to us via Facebook call in get some advice or whatever and, and that's we're open we're just trying to you know help yeah. people and, and I would have to say you know Ricardo mentioned he's a DC firefighter so, you know, he has that in him. Anyway. I have that helpful. Just want to pick yeah. you up and carry you somewhere yeah, yeah, that, and that, save that, you. But he does have a heart, a heart to save mm -hmm. folks. And, mm -hmm. and I think we really feel. My thing is, I always think of Don Cheadle's quote in Crash. 
And he says, I feel that people crash into each other, in this case in their mm. cars, because they want to feel something. And so we're all walking around just having been battered and bruised in various relationships, and we don't know how to move past that hurt, right. but then we end up in the next situation, mm -hmm. and the next situation, sure, and never we never right. resolve the right. issues. And so how do we create a space, and that's what we hope our show does, is create a space where we can bring interesting topics, right. give you a perspective that you may not have thought about. Like I said, we talked about the marriage band on the and file. Have, and have fun yeah, along the way. And that's what I was going to say. So because it's, she it's talked it's about what that really so means. so serious, right. Exactly. Right, right. We, need well, to have we bring fun. a twist. We like to, right. we like to have fun. Right. Laugh and, and I think and we usually joke. drunk or something like that. <laughs> no, nah, nah, not really. So maybe, maybe. Show, how, how do folks find out about your show? We um, air live on Bliss FM. So that's on Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, on bliss.fm, and that's bliss with one S. You can also subscribe to They Met Online on iTunes. We have a podcast wow. oh, every great. week. Every week. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it gets kind of it gets kind of tough coming up with these topics every week, but we find a way to do we it. We find right? a way. Yeah. What are some of the more interesting or provocative topics? Uh, I know you mentioned the pornography piece. The Mother's it? Day show. Oh. We wanted to bring a twist about forgiveness. Because, mm. you know, there are these Hallmark commercials around Mother's Day. Oh, I love my mama, and I'll mm. always love my mama, and that's beautiful. Mm. But that is not everyone's that's experience. Mm. Some yeah, people yeah. have anger. And we had Jenks Morton on the show, oh, and yeah. he wrote the book, Why He Hates You, about a son and right, a mother, right. his own was, story. Oh, yeah, so that, that was that the was twist, really right? So you call me, you're thinking, oh, a Mother's Day show. Oh, he hates you. He what is this all. about? Like, yeah, he, yeah there's mom. a lot of like, resentment there. But that. again, but yet there's still an eye toward healing. Mm -hmm. But it was just to do something a little different. I don't think yeah. any of us have ever seen a Mother's Day oh, show wow. about why their sons ate Bro, them. Wow. Um, that wasn't the only thing we talked about, but that was, a, that was a really good show. My favorite show was the men's takeover show. Oh boy, yeah, the men took takeover. over we the took show. Over, over. Oh. We talked we, about Belle and I were not in the studio. The questions that women have yeah. about men and why we do certain things. Yes, and why do we, they cheat? Why, man, we talked about everything. Everything. And, and uh, Funny Man Skiba why, why was on the show. Why, that was why great. Mm. Why? Um, <laughs> variety. Variety. In my variety. Variety. Just leave it at one word because this would start a whole different kind of show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but there, it's more than just variety. It, I mean, not all men cheat, though. Mm -hmm. And not there's something to be said about having men around you who are sensitive and mm -hmm. in touch. And even if they still make mistakes, they're willing to get on the microphone and say, you know what, I realize I cheated oh, on yeah. my ex-wife, oh, yeah. or I did this or that yeah, or the other. That, that's and coming that up really, with the truth. The, the we, truth we, show yeah, we have a truth, truth show as well. The so show the truth show is coming up this coming Thursday. This so. Thursday. We got a lot of work yeah. to do on yeah. this show. And yeah. it's, it's going to be and, a, and it's really be a tough just one. being it's honest. Be a tough one. Because yeah. creating a space where men, we have a picture on our Facebook page, and there's a woman who's approaching what looks like a Hulk mm. character, and she just reaches up to him. And in each frame, he shrinks and shrinks till he's just sort of holding her around her waist. Yeah. And it's all about giving a man a space to be able to yeah. be yeah. a man, yeah. a sensitive man. That's not being in touch with your feminine side, that's being a man and right. being sensitive and being right. okay to cry and be honest and so uh, similarly having a man give you a space as a woman mm -hmm. where you can be yourself flaws and all you know and right. I think that's, that's really awesome. a big part of our show as well that's really awesome. yeah. and I know we, we would like to reach out to a lot of the men mm -hmm. out there right. because the majority of our listeners are women now mm -hmm. we want to help everybody right so you know men out there please Feel free to check us out. Right. Yeah. Well, I know that Michael Bates many years ago uh, had a book called Men Cry in the Dark. Yes. Deep concept idea that you know men may not cry publicly and may not show their feelings, but obviously they do. Oh yeah. Uh, what are some of the uh, recommendations or solutions that you might have? <coughs> For being in, in <coughs> sensitive. So, as far as well, you know, obviously. It's not cool for men, you know, oh, men are no. macho, men are, you know, we have to be tough, we have to have this exterior, you well, know, stereotypically, you're this firefighter, you're not supposed right, to be the Right, I'm not supposed guy. to be just walking around right. crying, and I wouldn't recommend that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> as much but, as uh, we say that they right. yeah, right. right. want mean, you crying, well, not, right. not, not, there's a balance. Yeah, there's I balance. Mean, certain things, and, and I'm not, I don't know, with, with me, I guess, certain people I feel like I can be myself around, mm -hmm. and then. Michelle, for some reason, like, and she felt felt, felt it around me. Yeah. I just felt like I could be 
Authentic. open and be myself yeah. around her. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was, wow, that's a tough one. No, man. I think that the, the bottom line is safety. Feeling that you're yeah. going to be safe mm -hmm. emotionally. Emotionally secure. Right? Sure. Yeah. yeah and, and the fact that she made me feel safe, I felt like, you know, she wouldn't judge me if right. I felt, if I, you know, shed, yeah. a, shed a tear right. in front of her. Right. She wouldn't judge me. Right. So, uh, men, I guess we need to feel that safety as right. far as a, a, a female is not going to judge us, look at us, look at us as being punks or whatever mm. right. for shedding the tear. Now, I don't. It's balance. Time, it's yeah. balance. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a that's a tough one. That's a tough it, one. It is. It's a very mm -hmm. difficult subject to discuss for, for men and so mm -hmm. forth. But we, we talked a little bit about men's emotions and so forth. Mm -hmm. And we talked about men cheating and why do they cheat. But I just saw a Huffington Post article on the rise of married women cheating. Yes. Yeah. Michelle? Yeah. You yeah. sound like uh, you have some expertise in this area. Well, I wouldn't say not, not on a personal right. level, right. but. You have expertise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about this. What I will say <laughs> is that often, while men may cheat for variety, I think they cheat for emotional reasons as well, oftentimes. I think generally women cheat, there's an emotional there's void. An emotional. There's, yeah. a, there's lack. There's something that she's not getting. And, and, and I think usually the cheating happens as part of an evolution of a relationship that she's created outside of the marriage or the relationship, the primary relationship. So they start off as friends. And he's a listening ear and he's so sensitive. Huh. And, and then it sort of moves on because he is fulfilling a role that her primary mate right. should be and is not. So I would say it's not surprising that um, that that relationships and, and, and women are on the rise with respect to cheating because um, they're not having those needs met at home. I think it's, it's probably been happening all of this right. a long long time ago but now with social media everything that you had it's it's just out there more it's you know the cheating and the women are doing it and women are a lot slicker than men they well sure yeah are. i think we just so yeah, yeah you, you guys we get caught because y'all don't pay attention we, that's we, part we of the problem the street, like, we, we you're like, oh, like oh look oh, right look. exactly See, they look they like, Bam. <laughs> <laughs> got it all of it well, we Remember it. Yeah, we went to school together. Yeah, you know? yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we're coming to the close of the segment, and I really appreciate uh, what you all have shared. So, um, kind of sum up from both of your perspectives a little bit about the show, uh, your experiences. Um, you know, I'm gonna put it I, I've been married yeah. twice, divorced twice. I have two 20 something year old children, and I really have reached a point in my life as in my 40s where I just want to be able to have an understanding. I think I've understand a lot of the mistakes that I've made, um, but there's more room for growth. I'm constantly evolving. And the more that I speak with people ranging in age from 20 to 40 to 50 and beyond, they too are on that same path. And so just, I have the gift of gab a little, a little bit, um, just a little, just a little bit. bit. And I thought that it would be really great to be able to put together a program where we could collectively be honest, open, and help others. So, um, you know, that that's really what Are They Met Online journey is about, and touching people via radio and, and doing live events in the D.C. area and other other states as well. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. I've also been married twice. Wow. Divorced. Uh, not looking to get married anytime soon mm -hmm. again. Um, my main thing is I, I, well, my experience now is just to, what I want to do is to help people and show people my point of view. Mm -hmm. that, that's my main thing. If I can just help some people along the way, man, and, and, and set them, help them not to make the same mistakes I made, then that, that, make, that does it for me. And that's the great thing about the show is that we all have different voices. Mm -hmm. I tend to be way on the progressive side and I'm really mm -hmm. open and, you know, and Belle is raised as a, you know, Christian Southern girl yeah, and she's yeah, so sweet. she's so sweet. And so we all bring these different perspectives. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very helpful because our listeners can sort of say, oh, they're more, that one's more like me and that one's right, less like right. me, you know, but all again with this undercurrent of the nucleus being, we met online, we have a great bond, um, but form from before and that's current now. Well tell our viewers again how we can get a hold of you and how we can check out the show. Well you can uh well she'll go talk ahead. about the show. Yeah. You can reach me at uh Ricardo Kingsbury on Facebook. He friends everybody uh, and so accepts friend, all just, friend requests. Just and if you want to see him without his shirt on. Uh, there you go. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, and if you want to hit me on Twitter, it's Ricardo K seven seven seven. Yes, Great. and I'm I'm on Twitter. Yeah, I'm at, glad I remembered that. You remembered it this time. Yeah. I'm on Twitter at Black Love Rules, and also at They Met Online, and we have They Met Online on Bliss, Bliss FM, FM, and also the Facebook page, They Met Online, and YouTube, right. They Met Online. I think you see a trend right. here. Right. They right. Met right. Online. They Met Online. TMO. And then what happened? <laughs> well, thanks so much, Michelle Ricardo. We thank, thank you both for thank joining you. us. I'm Brian Sales, the host of Simply Love, and we'll be back in touch with you again next time.